Light tanks, what are they? Why should you be driving them? And what can I help you improve in your light tank gameplay? Well, I'm going to show you, firstly, what a lot of you are doing wrong with your light tanks. I'm going to show you some positions that I use light tanks in that are absolutely golden and that may well improve uh, your World of Tanks Blitz experience. And I'm just basically going to talk to you about the way you've got to play light tanks. And they are very different. There are a lot of different light tanks. You've got Vickers Valiants. You've got T100 LTs. You've got your Bat Chatillons. Uh, but basically, what you're looking for in a light tank is utilizing speed, vision, and camo to overcome the bad boys on the red team. I'm going to show you some examples of gameplay, and this video is going to go for over 20 minutes, so sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe, and do your very level best to turn on your peepers and open up your ears and maybe get a little bit letter at the, a little bit letter at this... <laughs> a little bit better. A bit of lit letter. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Don't go changing. Um, as you can see here, this is what you want to do with the light. You utilize that speed and that camo reset to change the angle of the engagement. What you can also do, which a lot of light tanks don't do, like I don't see enough people in light tanks doing this, is open up the map for everyone with early spots, uh, particularly with a T100 LT, which has this crazy low profile. Now, I'm going to feature mostly tier 10 light tanks here, but I will say if you want to learn to be a good light tank driver as we open up the rest of the map for the team, so we spotted six of the seven tanks that were available there and we took one hit for it but this is what light tanking is all about it's a chess game you can see i've opened up the map i've seen where everyone is and i'm like this guy's isolated i can go in here there is no one else in this position that can hurt me and this is free dpm into the side of this type 71 so we clear their heavy we know where all their tds are and because we know this we're in a light tank we can reset our camo, we can move quickly, and look at the position I take. This is super aggressive if I haven't opened up the map and given vision to my team and let them see where everyone is. But they've only got six tanks left, and I know where four of them are, because I can see them. And it destroys their team, and we win this game pretty comfortably in the end. But we win it because we drove a light tank to its full potential. And driving a light tank to its full potential is a difficult thing. Don't get me wrong, you're going to crash and burn a lot playing lights if you play them well. Because whether you like it or not, Blitz is a team game. In fact, it's one of the things I like the most about Blitz. You can't win some games. You look at the best players in the world, and they've got like 70% win rates because some games there's just no winning. Let's have a look at specific light tank skills that you need to have. So... You'll see a lot of the positions that I'm taking early are very aggressive and they're middle of the map because we can get here without being spotted because our camo is so good and our speed is so good. But the primary skill for a light tank driver is reading the team list and looking at the minimap. I know there's two TDs here. I know there is one light tank on their team. I can see that I've only got two tanks spotted and that's not enough. And I'm pulling back because I'm very, very worried that I'm going to get pushed across the middle. Okay, so what are we going to do? Are we going to go and hang out with everyone else? I've seen more tanks. Feeling pretty comfortable. I know where the FE4005 is now. I can see where the Jaegeru is. This is the rule of double bush. If you can line up a shot from behind a bush into another tank that is behind a bush, you won't get spotted. And in a light tank, you can set these kind of shots up constantly and in a light tank like the t100 lt where you're so low that even the slightest bump in the ground is considered camouflage see how i move back behind the bush again i'm still not spotted that fv is like where the freak is that coming from and what am i going to do and now i'm counting tanks i'm like i think i can make a play here it's not a guarantee but if you look on the right flank and you look at that guy in b like yeah i'm pretty confident that unless I'm incredibly unlucky, I'm going to be able to make a play here. The FV is looking the wrong way, and we drive through, and we start applying our DPM. Now, a lot of people get carried away, and they listen to the chat. Go, go, push, noob, butt, etc. That felt like a long time in Blitz. It was two minutes, okay? It wasn't even really two minutes, because if you count the time I'm driving in, that's 30 seconds. Like... It's 90 seconds of moving around the map, doing damage, 
waiting to make a play. How long have I been spotted for in this game? Like 30 seconds? And I've got 2k damage and I'm moving around the map confidently. You've got to utilize this speed. Everyone else in the red team is now looking towards our spawn. Uh, and we're now going to start rolling them up from behind. Remember the same guys that make games unwinnable for you are also the same guys that are on the other team quite often. We always look at the win rates of our team. Oh, it's not fair. We lost. There's 44%. There's 50%. Stop doing that. It will fucking ruin your gameplay and experience. Pretending like it's a conspiracy theory, like the world owes you a living, and then when you win, do you go and look at the win rates on your team and say, I am so lucky I got carried by these guys. Like, look at me. I'm, I'm a terrible player, but luckily all these guys have blue win rates, so I'm awesome. No. And it will really frustrate you. you you're you not going to win all the games you play in Blitz. Hell, a lot of you aren't going to win half of the games you play in Blitz. You can only control your vehicle. And if you want to influence a game correctly, driving a light tank will absolutely help you do that. You see how much time I'm taking. 4k damage. There's still 3 minutes left. There is still 3 minutes of this game left. Right? And we're going to do four and a half, five 5k, three minutes left. And it looks like I'm driving slow because I'm not racing around the map and in their spawn after 30 seconds. Just because you're a fast tank in a light tank does not mean that you have to be the first tank to die and the first tank to get there. Let me show you a couple of positions. This is a position on Lagoon. Uh, this is quite well known, this one. But if you don't, you drive straight out of your spawn and left if you're on this, this, this south spawn here. Um... It will give you spots across. It also allows you, if you time your shots, to go unspotted. Watch how I wait for this guy to go behind a bush. Here we go. Rule of two bushes. Unspotted. Shooting. Damage. Not spotted. Two bushes. Good. One bush. Good, but not as good. No bushes. Bad. And then you can get shots across all the way. If no one moves you from these spots, you don't have to move. But if you're watching the minimap quite often... You should be moving. You've also got to be very aware of what kind of tank you're driving. The T100 LT has amazing camo and speed and its profile is stupidly low, but it doesn't have gun depression. The Vickers has DPM to burn, like 3,400 DPM. Incredible gun depression. Oh, what do you know? The rule of two. Two bushes. No spotted, even though that's a medium tank with good view range. So if you're driving a Vickers, get to spots where you can use your gun depression. It's it's what the tank does. Uh, it's going to get nerfed in the next update. The turret, the mantlet's getting nerfed, but that won't change the fact that you can do stuff like this. Like you can ricochet off the top of tanks. No, like you can actually get low and go, 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 you know, T100 LT. But you can get high and get right on by in the Vickers. Look how easy it is to get these shots. This is another game where we're utilizing light tank camo, light tank mobility, and we are farming damage without taking damage. Light tanks are very, very good at this. Where they're bad is when you use them like a medium tank. A lot of people run a light tank and they'll take a trade. Let's go back and have a look at the video that we saw on the intro. This is where I did a big circle really, really quick and then cleared the E75 over here and then pushing up the hill onto the E50M. But I'm not pushing up the hill onto the E50M. That's an E50M. Why would I want to trade in a tank that's going to be difficult to pen and I'm going to have to take damage back? I'm in a light tank. And don't just push out wildly. Wait. Reset your camo. And then make your move. Because this is what light tanking is about. Light tanking is about moving to positions where you can put your gun in the game, right? And oh, someone's just saying, Bushka? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Um, no way. Yeah, it, it, it is a way. Look at how I'm not spotted until I fire. And then I run into something. Great. I mean, that, that's what I do. Um, this is why you've got to be very aware of the fact that every time you reset your camo, you're going to get like a free shot at anyone that's over 150, 200 meters away. Because they can't freaking see you because you're a light tank. 
So we angle up to the next target. We get lucky there. We shouldn't have bounced that, but we were angled for it. We changed our turret around. And then we just roll around the back. And we're looking for the grill, basically. We know the grill's going to be around here somewhere. He's probably going to be in the TD spot. Game's won. We're just farming damage now. Don't go and make trades unless you absolutely have to. And if you do have to go and make trades, save your hit points. This is another great spot I use on Mullendike. Uh, there's a spotting position that's very cool low on the other side. But this is a great one. Knocking down trees and then jumping inside trees is a much, much ignored art of light tank driving. I do this all over the place on all kinds of maps. You can create spots where you can put a light tank in cover, in open, and just farm up spotting damage. It's brilliant. This is the other light tank standard spot on Mullendike. I'm going to showcase this for you because this is really the essence of running like a T100 LT. Um, you're looking for spots. You're looking to put damage in. Here we go. And then you're basically killing the enemy team because they've got the spotting mechanic on the T100 LT. So if you pen them, they've got 20 seconds of being spotted, which is torture. They're, and look, you've got to remember, it's an easy trick when you are running this tank or any light tank. You've got 10 seconds from when you fire or when you're spotted to when you go unspotted once you pull behind hard cover. So... You've got six seconds on your reload, 5.9. You've got four seconds on top of that. That's 10 seconds. So just count to four. 1,000. Well, like when it reloads, obviously. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Forward. Pull back. Let the gun count down. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Drive forward. We're going to shoot the 183 who's waiting for us, which is pretty funny. Just making sure I'm letting people know where he is. And I'm going to shoot him. He drives TDs berserk. He drives them absolutely mad. 1,000, 2,000, etc. This is another great spotting position. Everyone should be be aware of this one. Um, you can be really aggressive with these positions. Uh, there's a T100 LT who, I don't know what he's doing here, but we've spotted him. We wait... We're waiting because I want him to get all the way across. As long as I'm looking at him, that's when he finishes getting spotted. So I'm going to keep him spotted the whole time. And he is going to get lit and bit. You're going to see him disappear off the mini-map in no short order. Because he's got 10 seconds from when I last dinged him. And that gave them time to get a reload in and cleared. The other thing you've got to be doing as a light tank is using the rest of your team. You are not a heavy. You are not a medium. You do not make trades. A position like this is your bread and butter. I am not going to be the guy doing all the damage here. Um, I am the guy who is going to end up with 3k spotting damage. like Because all I'm doing is just destroying the life of these two T10 TDs. A lot of 183 drivers hate light tanks. And there's good reason for that. Because 183s can't spot their own damage. They're so cumbersome. Their gun handling is so crap. They end up in positions where if you can spot them and keep them spotted, they're just such a waste of time for the team. They're so much fun to drive, but they're a waste of time for the team. Like, really, 183s, the grills are the other tank that I see so much of, which just are uh, so bad for their team. Uh, this is another killer spot for a light tank. Um, this right-hand side is the one that gets it. You're going to see, this is pretty crazy, uh, and this is particularly good in Platoon if you've got mates that will go the middle and stay and hold the middle. Um, watch this T62A. You can't see me. Until I fire, I'm not spotted. I'm going to reset my camo behind hardcover with shots in the side of the guys in the middle. It's just untenable. It kills people pushing that middle. And I'm in cover. It's very hard to do this in the T100 LT because it's too light. It's too low to the ground. And um, your team has to obviously hold. If they're hopeless, it's not going to stop you. Um, let's talk about going through some engagements and uh, actually walking things through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all this stuff and then I'm going to show you a game in the RU251. And there's a real art to light tank driving. And if you can drive lights at tier 8, you will do very, very well at tier 10. Uh, 268's coming across. One of the things I love about lights is at tier 10, they get all kinds of crazy cool stuff. Like 
the WZ getting its um, spotting mechanic and the T100 LT getting its extra, like keeping keeping tanks spotted for 20 seconds is absolutely insane. Um, there's two of us left versus three, so we're basically just going to let this guy do the business uh, around on us and then our, our compadre over there is going to attempt to come across and help. I don't know where that went, but we get a bounce back, so that's pretty cool. Tracking shots are good. Tracking shots are very, very, very good. See how many hit points I've got? I've got like two and a half K damage. I've, I've been doing things. I've got 1100 spotting damage. Uh, it's just been, you know, uh, 1100 blocked actually, not spotting. Um, one of the reasons I don't immediately push down here, I don't know about you, but like driving in uh, to get two kill shots really quickly and getting tracked as you're doing it and getting spun around or taking ammo rack damage and then getting tracked again and then you've killed one. I'm, I'm like not blowing this. Uh, I'm going to make sure I win. So light tank driving is chess. They've got C cap. We need to clear the cap. So I'm just getting all the way over here. They're going to protect C. Like it's what they're going to do. I'm lining it up and I'm going to go for a, a drive straight through C and I'm expecting to find them there. And I'm going to come in unspotted at full speed and rinse one or two. I've got APCR loaded. Here we go. Got APCR. I've got my high pen AP rather. There's one. Take a shot. Rolling. Play chess, not checkers. Like it's pretty straightforward stuff, right? You, you really do have to be doing this. Like this is just absolutely where you have to be with your light tanks. Use the skills of the light tank pads. RU251 has insane DPM and goes 80 kilometers an hour. Don't trade with it. Just never trade. Never, ever, ever trade with these tanks until it's game winning time. Like, even, do you see how I drove behind the cover then and then all the way around? And then I'm in a, like, I'm in a cockroach. I'm just going to sit here and spot these guys. And drive them absolutely crazy. It's it's what you should be doing. Oh, there I'm spotted. But look how low I am. Like, plus there's that stuff in front of me, so they can't fire heat through it, which is going to drive them crazy. So they can't just auto pen my turret. It means they're more likely to ricochet. They're going to get no normalization against my armor, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, this is another example, a prime example of just ruining the day. That guy in the light. When you're fighting against Sheridans. You don't want to have these one-off trades because they've got such high alpha guns. Look how I bait him around. They all think there's three TDs there. I know there is. They're like, oh, okay. So we're spotted for 10 seconds. Sheridan wants to come around and clear me. The Waffle wants to come around and clear me. I can see them coming. I'm going to drive away. 6.6 6 seconds plus three and a half. Then we roll back to exactly where we were. Go behind the bush. Enemy armor is damaged. You. Thank you very much. Ruined his day. Absolutely killed it. We've damaged them. And we're expecting the Sheridan to turn up. Doesn't disappoint. Enemy armor is hit. Everything else is dead. So we're happy to go forward and make a trade, but we don't want to die, even though it's not going to really affect the outcome of the game. Just put one in there and start backing away, and he's going to come. You know he's going to come. You know he's going to come. He's running his adrenaline rush. He's like, oh, I've got this in my chance. You've got to start playing like this in a light tank. If you don't play like this in a light tank, you're wasting your time. They are the most fun, most engaging tanks in the game. This is the RU-251. Like, this is the literal definition of bad armor. Okay, this this is... If you can get by in this tank, you're going to be just grand running tier 10 lights. Okay? And what I want you to note here, this is not some crazy, insane mastery game, right? This is not some wild effort at, at you know 5k this is just simple simple stuff resetting camo rolling up looking for easy shots conserving your hit point pool putting yourself in positions to do damage watching the mini map reading what your teammates are doing and the reason i think this is so important at tier 8 and it really is uh, there are so many tanks that are just broken at tier 8 that don't make any sense. There are so many tanks like Annihilators and Smashers and Helsings and Draculas at tier 7 that come through and when you see tier 9s, it's standard Bs and 
So you've got to be super careful with your hit point pool. Um, you can take HE pens in this thing that will basically delete you. you. And it's one of the worst tanks for taking damage in. But I'm doing 83 kilometers an hour. That's fun. That's engaging and that's dynamic. And that's what you want. And we're constantly changing. I'm aware straight away that there is a tank above me that is going to proximity spot me. That there is a GSOR over there who will want to HE me. Uh, so I'm looking to get an easy shot into him, but I'm not going to push around there. That's not your job. Your job as a light is not to absorb damage. It's not to make trades for your team. It is purely and simply to spot targets, put out DPM, and stay alive. You have so much mobility that if you can find the right kind of vehicle at the end of the game, you can kill it even if it has a massive armor profile. We're pushing back away from that tank there to try and get a shot into the 047. He's really important. Look at how the hit point pools have whittled down on our team and we've lost a couple of tanks. And suddenly, me being healthy is actually really, really important. And even here, we still don't just go driving straight out in the middle of no man's land. We're taking our time. Three tanks, we can see two of them up there. We're missing one, and we're looking for that last spot. But we're not going to give the big guns up the top a chance to clear us. We're just looking. Till we're spotted, we're not too worried. And we've found him, which is not ideal. So we get straight back behind cover. We wait. This is what you've got to be doing, honestly. You save your hit points for a reason. Get, get, your, get your hit point pull and treat it like it's important. We're spotting targets. It's not our job to clear everyone. We're going so far around because I know that the big guns up the top here are looking down exactly where everyone else in the map is as far as they're concerned. There we go. Now, I didn't realize I was running speed boost instead of adrenaline rush. I wasn't sure what the CC was doing, so I kept coming because I didn't want to get stuck between the two of them. But I figured there was a chance to clear here anyway. Very worried about that smasher coming around that corner. I'm gonna keep rolling, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Keep on going. Take one. So that's one hit there. Get around the back here. And again, we've totally isolated this guy compared to the other two guys up the top. And we didn't clear that guy, but this is why you save your hit point pool. Save your hit point pool for things like this because you're a tank that has 2,800 DPM. This tank has 2,800 DPM at tier eight. And it can do 80 kilometers an hour. And it is so fragile. But if you can get it to work for you, you can then run around at tier 10 in a T100 LT or a Vickers or a Batchat or a WZ or a Sheridan and play this play style of constant movement. Like we're going to do probably as many clicks in terms of total distance as the rest of the team combined in this game. We have not stopped driving. We have not stopped moving. It's, it's a whole playstyle that you have to embrace and you have to be willing to be a little bit patient. And I always find it funny in Blitz that people are so impatient. People yell and scream in the chat, like to go, to go, to go. They're wrong. They're nearly always wrong. Don't listen to them. Don't do anything that isn't, you know, oh, he was waiting. But we were waiting too. Um, I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like uh, and a comment subscribe to the channel uh, and we'll be making more like it why not leave an idea as to what you want to see next downstairs in the comments we'll see how we go until next time stay safe on the battlefield bye for now nice nice stuff god i love this tank so much